Hey gang, it's me, the Corner DJ. Welcome to Hair Metal. Let's start with the big question. What makes a band a hair band? I already had my own general concept of what exemplifies hair metal, or hair bands, but I checked out the always reliable Wikipedia for more information. So here's what you can expect over the next 10 episodes. From a strictly visual perspective, hair metal draws heavily on the glam rock or glitter rock of the 1970s. The band members often exhibit very long backcombed hair, use of hairspray, use of makeup, gaudy clothing, and accessories chiefly consisting of spandex, lace, and the heavy use of bright colors, which creates an overall androgynous aesthetic. Hair metal performers became infamous for their debauched lifestyles of drugs, strippers, and late night parties, which were widely covered in the tabloid press. Musically, hair metal combines a traditional heavy metal sound with elements of hard rock and punk rock, adding pop-influenced catchy hooks and guitar riffs. Like other heavy metal songs of the 1980s, they often feature shred guitar solos. They also include extensive use of vocal harmonies, particularly in the characteristic power ballads. Lyrical themes often deal with love and lust, with songs often directed at a particular woman. My own interpretation also weighs talent and intent. For instance, you won't hear ACDC, because hairspray and makeup are non-existent and the only unusual clothing is a schoolboy outfit. Definitely not glam. You will hear Def Leppard, because they often wear spandex or leather and the music is more pop than heavy metal. You won't hear Van Halen. Yes, there's spandex. Yes, there's big hair. But no makeup, no power ballads, and the talent level is a tier above every other band in this series. Van Halen's music is their first priority, not their appearance. I'm sure there are a number of bands that I didn't include that you were expecting. Similarly, there are likely bands that I did play that made you scratch your head. Well, that's the best part of being a non-corporate DJ. I get to play what I want. And if you disagree with my choices, instead of complaining, you can do the same thing I do. Creating a YouTube channel or a Patreon page is relatively easy and fun. Episode 1 is here on YouTube for free. The rest of the 10 episode series continues for subscribers to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash corner DJ. I've got several other shows in the works, so to make sure you're on top of it all, please hit like and subscribe, as well as ringing the bell for notifications. Additionally, if you have the means, you're welcome to donate at my webpage, patreon.com slash corner DJ. There's a bunch of free stuff in addition to the subscriber-only content. And, as always, new series debut on Patreon first before eventually releasing on YouTube. Thanks again for listening, and flash those devil horns!